Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video will be a review and wear test of the Madame Glam Polygel. Madame Glam kindly sent me a couple of bits to try out. They sent me their polygel and also their polygel brush. So massive thank you for sending me those. So this is what the poly gel looks like. I got the shade Dahlia, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it comes securely attached with a little bit of foil so you get no product leakage when it's being delivered. And you get 30 mils of product in there which is one fluid ounce. This is the brush you get for doing the poly gel and it is a double ended brush so you have the brush on one end which is amazing, I loved using this, it's such a thin fine point, really high quality and then on the other side is the spatula, this is what you use to scrape off the poly gel from the tube. So I've prepped all my nails ready to go so I'm going to go straight in and apply my tips and forms. So I'm going to be showing you how to use forms applying poly gel and also how to use this with tips. And I'm going to be doing a forms versus tips. So I've done half and half. So on the Madame Glam website it says to apply their base gel polish. So I'm going straight in after dehydrating my nails with some acetone and applying that base gel over every single nail. I will then cure in my lamp for 30 seconds. So now taking that poly gel, I'm squeezing a bit out and using my spatula to scrape that product off. I'm then going to apply it halfway down the nail and apply it to the nail. And as you can see here, the beauty of poly gel, which is why I love it, it does not budge, it does not move, you move it where you want it to be. So I'm using my brush, I've dipped it in a little bit of alcohol and I am just using the belly of the brush to press and push this poly gel into place. I'm going to blend the back of the bead into the back third of the nail and then use the belly of the brush to pull that down in a similar way you would do acrylic to the end of the nail. So make sure your brush is wet with alcohol because otherwise your brush will stick to the poly gel and it will just be a big mess but don't saturate it too much because otherwise you could have problems with lifting if you have too much of a wet brush. So I'm just checking it from all angles, making sure I've got it down both the side walls of the nail, making sure I've got a nice shape still. This is one of the nails with a tip. So I've already created my shape, so it's reasonably easy to do with tips. And I'm just making sure it's a nice shape from every single angle. I'm then going to cure that in my lamp for 30 seconds. So now taking my second bead, I'm just squeezing that out onto my spatula, scraping it off and then applying that onto the nail. So I'm going to apply this to the back third of the nail this time and as you can see there the size of the bead I've used and what it looks like. So I'm now going to go in with my brush after I've dipped it in a bit of alcohol and I've taken a little bit of, the, of that excess liquid off onto a little bit of limp pad so I don't have it too wet. I'm then going to use my brush to push back into the cuticle area making sure it's nice and flush around that area making sure there's no lip because that will cause lifting and then I'm going to use the same motion of pressing and patting and pulling that product and then when I get towards the end of the nail because I've already got product there I'm going to pull that bead down really nice and thin and then I'm going to br use the brush and br use it in brushing motions rather than pressing motions so then I'll cure that in the lamp I like to cure it for a final 60 seconds to make sure it's fully cured Good. So now I'm going to show you with the sculpting forms how I use poly gel. 
So applying that bead exactly the same way I would do with tips, applying it to the centre of the nail which is basically if you've got a form on the free edge. So I'm blending that back on to the natural nail, this is going to secure it to the natural nail so that when we remove the form the newly sculpted poly gel tip doesn't break off with it. So I'm repeating the same process, the same as I would do with the tip, so blending it back, making sure it's nice and flush, and then patting and pulling that bead of poly gel down to create the length I want. And then I'm gonna use the side of my poly gel brush to pull the edges in to create a nice almond shape. Okay, so once that's done, you should have your tip area applied. I'm just showing you how thin that is from the side view. I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds, and when it's out of the lamp, I'm going to remove that form from underneath by pinching it, as you can see there, and pulling away. It comes away really easily, and that is what you're left with so far. So I'm now going with my second and final bead of poly gel, placing it in the back third of the nail, coming in with my brush again and repeating the same process as I did with the tip. So blending it back into the cuticle area, making sure I go down both of the side walls and patting and pulling that product down. Once I get two thirds of the way down the nail, I will then brush the last bit of poly gel down because we don't want to build up too much thickness around the tip because we've already applied poly gel there. I also make sure I check from side angles and down the barrel of the nail, making sure I've got a good apex and good structure to my nail. So as you can see here, it was a bit too bulky around the cuticle and the back there of the nail, so I've just patted and pulled that product down to even it out. So once I've done this, I'll be back with you in a second. So once you're happy, cure it in your lamp for a full 60 second cure and I'm going in with some cleanser and just taking off that sticky layer. Madame Glam Poly Gel does have a slight tacky layer so I did cleanse it off and that's what they look like so far. And now going in with my filing routine, I'm just going to show you how I file one of the nails because it is the exact same for every single nail. So I am going in with a 180 grit file, filing both side walls of my nail. I will then be coming in and going around the cuticle area, making sure it is nice and flush. Once I've done the cuticle area, I'm then going to go in with the length of my file and do the body of the nail making sure I've got every area. I will then go over with my file just to make sure I've got the shape right, the apex in the correct position. So I'm just checking it from side view and I felt like my apex was a bit high in one area and there was a little bit of a beak nail going on so I've tidied that up and I'm happy. So I'm going to finish off the rest of the nails, they are all done now and I'm now going to go in with some top coat. So I'm going to be using the Madame Glam top coat and applying this to every single nail, making sure I cover them really nice and evenly. And once I've applied the top coat to every nail, I'll be popping in my lamp for 30 seconds to cure. And that's them all done. So this is the colour Dahlia and I was really surprised to see it almost looks like they've got a really fine glitter dust running throughout. It is really super subtle but you can see it in this photo here which I thought was so gorgeous. You could wear this poly gel just on its own without applying gel polish over the top. It is super pretty. It's a gorgeous colour and I feel like this will go with loads of people's skin tone. So I'm just going to pop on in two weeks time and show you a clip of how they're wearing. So enjoy the next clip. As you can see, there's absolutely no lifting whatsoever. This is two weeks wear of the Madame Glam Poly Gel. It is doing so well. I am so impressed. 
and if you remember these three nails here so my thumb and these two fingers were done using tips and then these two fingers my baby finger and my ring finger they were done using sculpting forms and they are both wearing so well they are both if i turn the side and push down they are super strong they don't bend or anything like that because i do find some poly gels are quite soft so they do have a little bit of bend but these are really good they look absolutely gorgeous this is just the poly gel topped off with madame glam's top coat and um, i'm absolutely loving the color of it as well it looks really nice and fresh and natural so I really like that. And comparison of the tips versus sculpts, I like both. I don't really mind, I don't have a preference. I think it's just down to personal choice of how you would like to do your extensions. Both works really well. Yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this poly gel. It's really, really good, absolutely no lifting and the shapes kept the shape nicely maybe slightly on the um nails with the tips they have slightly rounded off on the tips of the extensions whereas the form two nails have kept their pointy shape so that is the only thing if i'm being really nitpicky but apart from that they are absolutely fabulous and these could probably go another week to two weeks before being infilled so yeah i'm really impressed with this poly gel thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to follow me at isabel my nails and i'll see you in my next video Bye!